We all have special places we go that make us feel most alive. Sometimes it's a destination. Sometimes it's a pursuit. It's difficult to define, but when we're there, we know it. Time slows down. Smiles come easier. And the sense of calm is medicine for the soul. Join two-time BASS Angler of the Year, Gerald Swindle, as he takes us back to where it all began. This is his element. I'm Gerald Swindle, and I love to bass fish. People ask me sometimes, how did you know you were going to fish, and, and did you ever have a game plan? I didn't. To me, the moment was when I competed in a local tournament, small Tuesday night tournament with a friend of mine, Johnny McCombs, and we won some money. He won $300, and I can remember driving home, and I looked at him that night in that truck, and I said, hey, dude, if I can win money fishing, I'm not framing houses no more. I'm not framing houses. And I think the night that that guy in the parking lot at Big Bridge on Smith Lake handed me a, just a plain envelope that said, second place, $300, Swindle and McCombs, I think that lit the fire. I think it, from there, I didn't have a vision. I didn't know where it was gonna end. I just knew, hey, if I can make money doing what I love, then I won't never work again. You're gonna need a bigger chainsaw to cut me down. You're gonna need another heart. That was the whole turning point in my life. That's when it clicked. You know, I'd fish with my father, my granddad. I love fishing. But the night I won money, I become addicted to fishing. It was a true obsession that I haven't been able to shake. The art of fishing has never got old. When I put that boat in in the morning, I don't look at it as this is another day of work. This is another opportunity to do what I love. I, I just haven't lost that passion for that competitive side of it, and it just doesn't feel like work. When I put my foot in that boat and I throw that trolling motor over, my whole world goes in slow motion. And the reason that I started fishing comes back to me right then, because I love to fish. It's where I'm the most comfortable. It truly is my element. It's not a job yet, I can tell you that. It's funny is when you're when you're kids and you're teenager and all that, you dream about leaving home. You dream about moving out or doing something different. And, and back story is I was raised on a small farm outside of Locust Fork, a hundred acre truck farm. And we farmed vegetables, you know, okra and corn. And we picked tomatoes. We did it all by hand, me and my two older brothers, my mom and dad. At times, you know, you'd like to say, man, I, I, it was the best days of my life. God. Yeah, they were. They taught me lessons about worth ethic, value and work. But let me tell you what it did. It motivated me to be something. The, the thoughts of, of being on a farm, I used to joke with my mom and dad, I said, if I ever leave this farm, I'm never coming back. I'll never eat vegetables again. Well, let me tell you something. I'm sitting here tonight by this fire doing an interview for Mossy Oak on the new element pattern. And guess what? I'm sitting on my farm of 360 acres that I bought through fishing and working. And the biggest thing I have sometime when I come home is telling my wife, you know what? Let's go back to that farm. Let's go home. And when I come home, what do I do? The biggest thrill I get if I ain't in a tree stand, I hook up my little aluminum boat and I go down to Smith Lake or I go over to my buddy's lake. I go anywhere my buddy say I can put my aluminum boat in, but why? Because that's what I did as a kid. My first boat was an aluminum boat with a tiller handle on there. So when I come home, that's what I look forward to. I go right back to everything that I fought to get away from. I fought to get away from the farm. I fought not to wear boots. I was a kid that wore that stuff when it wasn't cool, and now I come back home and that's you. Fishing in a, in a small aluminum boat, beating around the bank and laughing has become some of the best moments of fishing I have. And I've been around the world. I fished the Great Lakes, you know. I'm over $2 million in winnings. I've won two anglers years. I've been to 17 Bassmasters Classic. I've seen some bass fishing. But there's nothing like coming home and taking your daughter, your wife, my son-in-law, 
my buddies, whether it's Joe Lee or Matt Lee, and we drop that aluminum boat in, and guess what, folks? We just fish. We fish because we love it. I'm 47 now. When I fished the Classic at Hartwell, when I swing for the first time and set the hook that morning, my hands will be shaking, the adrenaline will be pumping. This is the lifestyle that's chosen me, and I can't shake it. Each of us shares our own unique connection with the outdoors. A passion that drives us, defines us, a passion that centers us. It's where we are most at home. It's where we are in our element.